going to be in Miss Eisenberg's Brown's class. We'll never know what will happen. Miss Eisenberg Brown asked us what we know about butterflies. Then she asked us to tell her what we wanted to know. We did know many, but we had a lot of questions. Miss Eisenbrown said we were going to start reading a lot of books about butterflies. We were going to find out all of the answers to our questions. One day, Mrs. Eisenbrown surprised us with a butterfly pavilion. First, we saw ten tiny caterpillars that had hatched from eggs into jars. We can see silk in the jars. That means they are healthy. The caterpillars are very hungry and start eating and growing. They eat so much, they outgrow their skin. Caterpillars shed their skin four times. Next, the caterpillars climb to the top of the jars and hang upside down. They shed their skin one more time. Now a hard shell called a chrysis is made. The caterpillars are cozy in their shells. And the rest, now they are ready to be taken out of the jar. And put into the butterfly pavilion. We watch very carefully as the chrysalises are pinned to the side of the butterfly pavilion. One chrysalis fell off, so we put it on a paper towel at the bottom of the butterfly pavilion. After a long time, some of, of the chrysalises started wiggling a lot. The butterfly started coming out. Now we have to wait and wait for the special changes to happen. Sometimes the chrysalises will start wiggling to scare away predators. The butterflies can't fly just yet because the wings are too wet. The butterflies flap their wings to dry them. Finally, they are ready to fly. We make special sugar water for the butterflies to drink. We dip the sugar water on fresh flowers. We put the flowers on the bottom of the butterfly pavilion. We watch the butterflies drink the sugar water with their proboscis. We had to wait a couple days to see if all of the butterflies would come out of their chrysalis. Finally, they all came out. After a few days watching the butterflies, it's time to let them go. We cannot keep them because butterflies do not live for very long. They need to be let go so they can lay eggs. We needed to find a place with lots of flowers. We decided that the back gate was the perfect place to let them go. When we got there, we looked for a bush full with a lot of flowers. We found one and we started to let them go. One by one, the butterflies came out. 
and flew away. We are sad to see them go, but we will never forget them.